starting these ribs with some of this stir fry oil that Quinn Martin over at Quintessentials turned me on to. I've never tried this. He gave me this bottle actually. I've been knowing Quinn a long, long time. We live in the same area. We work at the same place. And uh, I just smelled it. And I tell you what, it's incredible. Just like he said, strong and garlic. You, you got hints of ginger in there, cilantro, onion. It's really, really good stuff. He had made a video on this same stuff, but uh, at the time that he did the video, it was called Wok Oil. And I guess for marketing reasons or whatever, they changed it to Stir Fry Oil. And uh, so anyway, that's the first layer. We're gonna flip it over, do the exact same thing. You've all seen me do American style barbecue ribs. I have never tried to tackle an Asian inspired uh, pork rib. I'm using Himalayan pink salt, by the way. But uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know much about it. We went into an international market yesterday and i tell you the truth, I really just don't even know what I'm looking at. But I am familiar with a few things and what I do like when it comes to uh, Asian style food is sweet and sour. So these are gonna be sweet and sour pork ribs. And uh, I'm gonna be building flavors with different Asian uh, sauces and whatnot. So basically that's all we're doing. We're putting salt and pepper in this uh, stir fry oil as our first layer of flavor. All right, we'll see you at the grill. ribs and underneath it I'm gonna have this drip pan there's nothing in it it's dry it's just to help uh, the cleanup of this I'm gonna go meat side up to start with all right I got another thermometer I'm gonna relocate it it's kind of right in the way there I guess we'll try it right about in here all I'm doing is monitoring the uh, temperature at the great level here all right I'm gonna let this thing go about an hour and a half before I put another layer of flavor on this thing. When I opened the lid, I was right at 250 on my uh, analog thermometer. I was reading a little bit higher than that on my uh, digital thermometer. What I'm going to do is adjust the temperature from here and try to level out somewhere between 225 and 250 for a low and slow cook. All right, I've been ripping about an hour and a half now, and uh, this, this Kamado is holding right at 250 degrees. And I'm just going to leave it there. It looks like everything's doing just fine. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put our second layer of flavor. Any of you that have watched Smoky Goodness over there are very familiar with this banana sauce. All right, I'm putting this on now because uh, I'm, I'm probably going to go about another hour, hour and a half, and then I'm going to put a wrap on these. And Once I do the wrap, I'm going to be putting the third layer in here. Okay, we've been going for another hour and a half with this banana sauce on here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, foil these on some aluminum foil. Then I'm going to be putting the third layer of flavor on here. Okay, I'm adding this chili garlic sauce that I also picked up over at that uh, international market. They have all kinds of things. They have Vietnamese, Chinese products. They have Mexican, uh, Thai you name it they got it I've already done this side fairly well I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over get the other side done then I'm gonna wrap it up in the aluminum foil we're gonna let it rip for around two hours hour and a half to two hours and at that time we're gonna take it back out of the foil let it go for around another hour all right now for the final layer this is uh sweet and sour sauce I've already got some in a little container here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just brush this on I'm gonna brush it on the meat side only I'm not turning these ribs again. They went about an hour and 20 minutes in that aluminum foil wrap and they are some kind of tender. I'm going to ramp the heat up and try to get just a little bit of caramelization on this. i tell you what, these smell incredible. Okay, I'll let these go about another 30 minutes. Getting ready to pull these off of here. We're going to take them inside and I'll see you at the uh, chopping block. All right, I've had these ribs sitting for around 10, 12 minutes, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut me one off of here. 
look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Nice smoke ring. Oh man. Alright. This is going to be proof in the pudding. Let's take a bite. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. That, my friends, is delicious. Oh my goodness. That is so good. I didn't know how this would work. I really didn't. All the ingredients that you see me use, I, I just kind of put it together in my head. And I just felt like it would work together. It's got the spicy, it's got the sweet, and it's got the sour. And it's awesome. It's really, really good. And I'll tell you the truth, it's not much different from American style barbecue. It really isn't. It's not just screaming Asian by any means, even though it has a lot of Asian flavors in it. It's freaking delicious. Ain't no two ways about it. All right, I would like to thank my friend Quinn Martin over there at Quinn Essentials. Y'all be sure to go over there and check his channel out. He's got a brand new channel. I say brand new. He's been out a few months, and uh, he could really use your support. He's already got some nice things going on, some good videos, and you can learn a lot from him. So um, go over there. I'll have a link in the description box, and check Quinn out. And also, make sure you go out over there and uh, check Dan out over at uh, Smoky Goodness. Check both these guys out. Great, awesome guys. Great, awesome cooks. And until next time, Smoky Ribs. We're out of here.